Hello and welcome to today's video. This time we're going to be looking at issue 8 of the fantastic Men's Adventure Quarterly magazine. This one focuses on heavy hitters, hit men and hit women. So sit back, relax and let's take a look. So once again, editors Bob Dice and Bill Cunningham have produced a fantastic issue of Men's Adventure Quarterly. And uh, I have been looking forward to this one because I have a bit of a soft spot for Hitmen movies and Hitmen books as well. And uh, it's designed by uh, Bill Cunningham of his uh, Pulp 2.0 press. And uh, here we are. So Men's Adventure Quarterly, issue number eight. Now, uh, it's got a couple of great guest editorials this time round. Uh, we got one from Gary Lavisi, a fellow YouTuber, and Michael Stradford, the uh, Steve Holland expert, both of which have got really, really great sort of articles in this one. Um, and as I said, it's on sort of the hit men and hit women featured within the world of uh, men's adventure magazines. There's some, obviously some paperback coverage and movie coverage as well. Um, in Bob's editorial introduction here, he does sort of say that this is a bit of a milestone because this was the eighth issue, so that's the second full year of Men's Adventure Quarterly being published now, which is uh, in itself quite quite incredible, and uh, it goes over some of the other more recent publications uh, from him, and uh, we've got the book on Ron Lesser, the fantastic new Lawrence Block book. Uh, all of these have been sort of reviewed on the channel, so um, do check back on the previous videos if you'd like to get those. There's uh, Bill's uh, Killer series. Then we've got the first sort of uh, main article, which is uh, by Bill. And um, it's on um, looking at the Hitman movie and also the parallels with the British Get Carter film, which is um, a real favourite of mine. I'm absolutely huge, huge fan of, uh, of Get Carter. And um, although I never met Ted Lewis, I did meet the director of Get Carter, Mike Hodges, and um, who had, uh, passed away earlier this year. And uh, had a very enjoyable chat with him about one of my favourite movies from uh, 1971. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, great little article that I really enjoyed reading. A few of them I've never ever seen. So uh, once again, I've put a couple of my to be watched. Um, and then a little feature on Pam Greer, another um, actress I've seen in a few movies. Obviously, most recently, Jackie Brown. But I have seen some of her 70s ones and she is excellent. Really, really great actress. So now we've got the, the section Steve Holland, um, the hitman of at least a thousand covers. So this is written by uh, Michael Stradford. Now Michael's written four books on male model Steve Holland. And uh, this article looks at um, Steve being featured on uh, as a hitman on various uh, book jackets. Here we are, here's a selection from uh, Michael's library. Absolutely fascinating. And uh, there are the, uh, the four books that Michael's written, the Steve Holland Action Library is what it's known as, and I've reviewed a couple of them on the channel, and they are really, really excellent. So, I really enjoyed those. Um, next, the uh, final guest editorial, which is from Gary Lavisi. Now, Gary Lavisi gives sort of an overview of the Hitman genre in general in the world of vintage paperbacks, and there's been an awful lot of it. I mean, there really has. So, uh, you have to go back, you know, to the since paperbacks have been existing and there has been uh, hitman related novels um right up to uh, no country for old men and uh, that was that actor what was his name again I, javier or javier barden what a creepy chap he was what a what an assassin eh <laughs> now we run we enter into the, the world of the stories so these are actually pulled from the men's adventure magazines often they've got an introduction by by bob um given us a bit of historical context of the actual magazine uh, um, feature. And then we got the full story, of course, in all its glory, uh, including original adverts. It's been obviously reset and recolored here by uh, Bill. But he says, it's just beautiful, isn't it? This color edition is, I feel, absolutely fantastic. It's the way to really enjoy this magazine, in my opinion. However, that does actually remind me that this time round, for the first time, um, Men's Adventure Quarterly is available in two other formats. This is like the full colour, full size magazine version. There's another great story here. Um, but it also comes in like a, a noir edition, which is uh, more like black and white. It hasn't got all the colour and it's uh, considerably cheaper. And you can also buy it now in ebook form. So for your uh, for your e-reader and that's available through Amazon. And I also noticed when I checked that out today that um, if you've got Amazon Unlimited or 
Kindle Unlimited, I should say, you can get, um, you can read this actually for free. So uh, there you go, if you subscribe to that particular service. Great ad there for Pulp Fest. Cool, I wish I could go to that one. August the 3rd to the 6th, 2023. Should we go into the uh, London Paperback Fair though, the week before? We get the uh, actual uh, stories from the Men's Adventure Mags here. Here's one on Bugsy Seagull. Great, great artwork. As you come to expect from the uh, Men's Adventure Library. This one is another article by Gary Lovisi on um, pinup girl betty brosner now i never knew much about betty brosner obviously i'd heard of betty page but not this this lady and uh, she's still around today which is fantastic and gary interviewed betty back in 2007 for his magazine paperback parade issue 70. there's some of the covers she was on some of the magazine and book jacket she was used as a model for she was very friendly and in fact married um uh uh what's he called there joe wilder um, there he is there, where well, they both are. There we are, and then there's uh, Joe featured on uh, various men's adventure magazines of the period. Another article by Bob here, really fascinating that. And um, there's Betty in the arms of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I recognize that advert. So there's a young Arnie, sort of what's that, mid to late 1960s, something like that. And uh, he's holding Betty up, fantastic. Fantastic advert. Little pin up there. Then I hit the hitman. All good stuff. Here's the original story. What I love about Men's Adventure Quarterly is because you're not reading an entire book, you can just dip in and out of this. And um, although I've not read the entire issue, I've saved a few back because I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks and I'm going to take the mag with me to enjoy. I shall maybe pull it out on the plane and get people like nose and say, oh, what's he reading? <laughs> um, here's a little ad for a paperback parade. If you've never read paperback parade, I mean, it's if you've got a run of them, it's so, so comprehensive and no aspect of vintage paperback collecting is uh, is not covered. It's a real great read. I've been running for 37 years. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Here we are. The hitman who turned out to be a woman in this particular story here. Then we get a little bit more about uh, Steve Holland. A long story there is the new uh ron lesser book absolutely fantastic that one really really enjoyable and that's just volume one of that one and uh another great issue the gang girls one i certainly enjoyed uh doing my little piece for that one um uh, really great stuff and uh some of the other issues as i said this is almost a celebration it's the first completes the first two years of the men's adventure quarterly magazine so uh, well done guys for uh reaching your second anniversary Here's another story of the day Castro beat the CIA's Mafia. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. But, you know, if you've been watching my videos on the Men's Adventure Quarterly, you'll see, you know, what a polished production this has been right from issue one. And uh, I just love it when a new issue drops through the letterbox for me to have a look at. Excellent stuff. Red, red, hot and dangerous. There we are. You're right. <laughs> Great stuff. And there's uh, some of the titles available in the Men's Adventure Library, which uh, you've seen dotted around throughout this. Absolutely fantastic. Now, next issue, next quarter is Croc Attack. So it's uh, crocodiles and alligators in Men's Adventure magazines. Going to be an absolute fantastic one, that. I'm sure it'll have bite. Uh, beware the razor sharp terror of the ninth issue. So there we are. So I shall very much look forward to that. So don't forget, 
This one, as I said, is in um, three formats. So you've got, this is the full color one. You've got the noir black and white edition, and you can now also buy it digitally as well. So uh, definitely track down a copy if you haven't got this already on order. Thanks very much to the publishers for sending me a copy yet again. Absolutely fantastic. And these are a joy to read and review. Hope you've enjoyed looking through this one at home. If you have, do please give the video a thumbs up. Do please hit the subscribe button if you've not already for regular vintage men's adventure content. And I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.